It is fruitless to support a populist candidate through one of the Republican or Democratic primaries. The primaries are structured to avert a genuine populist candidate from ever winning the nomination. Each party reserves a percentage of the total delegates at their respective nominating conventions for party stalwarts, like governors, current and former members of Congress, national committee members, all of whom have obtained their positions and stature by loyalty to the party, its coalition, and contributors. These delegates will never support or vote for an insurgent candidacy by a populist. Consequently, any populist challenge concedes at least 20% of the delegates before any primaries are held. Mathematically, a populist must then win over 60% of the remaining delegates throughout the primaries to win the nomination. The 60% threshold has only been met by sitting presidents seeking renomination. It truly is unrealistic to believe that a candidate committed to typical Americans and the common good can emerge from either political party. The parties are structured to funnel populism under their control, where the rhetoric is co-opted, but the substance is gutted.